Let's finish chapter 14 with a discussion about the concept of a pre and post adjusted trial balance. I want to make sure we always read the title of the trial balance to see if it has been pre or post adjusted. So we've got the same company with the same trial balance with the same numbers. The only difference is the one on the left is pre adjusted. And what that means is the balance day adjustments have not been recorded yet. And the one on the right is post adjusted, which means the amounts, uh, the balance day adjustments have been recorded in the amount shown. So assuming we have the same trial, two trial balances with the same figure for wages of $3,000 of each, the trial balance on the left is pre adjusted and the one on the right is post adjusted. And let's say there's this amount that we need to record of accrued wages of $400. So in the pre-adjusted trial balance on the left, we're saying that hasn't been recorded yet in this amount. But in the trial balance on the right, that's a post-adjusted trial balance, that $400 has been recorded in that amount. So what we'll need to do is figure out, well, how does that change things? What it must mean is that for the trial balance on the left, which hasn't been adjusted, that $3,000 of wages needs to go up $400. And the reason why is there's an amount incurred but not yet paid. It's pre-adjusted, so we haven't recorded it yet. So we better increase the expense and also increase the liability. So balancing that out, we can see we close that uh, wages ledger for a total expense of $3,400. Looking at the trial balance on the right though, wages are $3,000, but it's already been adjusted. So that $3,000 must include the accrued wages, which have already been recorded. So what we've got here is a slight difference. We can see we've got total wages expense of $400. We've still got an accrued wages liability. And then what we do is we shut it down to profit and loss summary, but the main difference is in the totals. So we can see here that in the pre-adjusted trial balance, the $3,000 must have referred to what was already paid. We then added in the accrued expense amount for a total of $3,400. Over here though, we had to add in the $400 adjustment and the reason why is because the adjustment was post adjusted. So it's already done. And what that must mean is that the bank amount, the amount already paid was $2,600 and together they totaled $3,000. So there's a slight adjustment here where you can see that one word completely changes the amounts that we need to record.